Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to the channel. In today's quick episode, I'm going to show you four ways to add light to an image or enhance light using four different programs. Let's get started. Episode, I'm going to be starting here in Lightroom Classic and I have this image up and I'm going to use three different programs to add some light and kind of um, a creative element to this image. So shot this last summer and it's one of my favorite, favorite images, but I'm going to show you how I enhanced it by increasing and adding some light. So to get started, we can do this right here in Lightroom using our mask tools. So the first option would be to use a linear gradient. So we can come down kind of in the direction of the light. And then what I like to do is add some warmth. So just adding a little bit of golden hue. We can also darken that a little bit. Uh, we can come in and reduce the saturation. I don't want it super, I don't want it super green. So there we go. I want a little bit more golden light. So we can bring that, increase the exposure a little bit, just kind of brighten and add that light. So we can see now we've just got this kind of gorgeous light coming in. Now, if we think we need a little bit more, we could go and add another mask and let's try another, um, maybe a radial gradient and let's come around. But what I want to do, take that gradient, I'm going to invert it. So now we just kind of have that outside and instead of doing a true vignette, I'm just going to add that warmth again to really give that glow around the image and again make it kind of that warm color. So just a fun way we can darken it a little bit to just add a little bit of light to this image. This image was taken at sunset but you really wouldn't know it because I was shooting into the meadow. So that would be one way here in Lightroom. All right so let's go back to the original image and the second way that I can add light is using the program Topaz Studio 2. So I'm going to go to edit in Topaz Studio 2. Now this trick is one of my absolute favorites to add light. So I'm going to give you one of my, my simple and easy tricks when you want to just enhance an image ever so slightly. So Topaz Studio 2 is a standalone program or it also works as a plug-in with Lightroom. And I'll have a link to where you can find out more information about Topaz in the description of this video. So we're going to go to add filter, come down and we're going to go to texture. Next under group, we're going to do light leaks. And the first one is my favorite. So this gives us just a gorgeous glow and some light coming in. Now we can't, we can't move the texture around. Um, we can do color strength. We can do some other things with it. We can make it the background versus the foreground. I don't notice a big difference in this image. Now what's great about Topaz, I can leave that up, but I can come in and do a mask. So I'm going to go to the mask and I think I'll go ahead and use a spot. I'm going to move this right here over the butterfly. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And now what I want to do is just take the transparency to about 50%. I want it to look natural, like natural light and natural cast, but I don't want 100% on the butterfly. All right, so I'm going to close that out. And now we can see the before and the after, just that kind of gorgeous glow right there on the butterfly. Now from here, I could go ahead and add, I would add probably a little bit of pop of exposure on the butterfly. And we could do that when we take the image back to Lightroom. All right, so let's go back over to Lightroom now. And my third option would be to use Photoshop. So let's go ahead and go over to Edit In, Edit In Photoshop. So many of you may use Adobe Camera Raw or you may only edit in Photoshop. So I wanted to show you a way. So there's a couple options in Photoshop. You could add a light overlay. You could use a brush. There are so many ways in Photoshop to enhance an image, multiple, multiple ways. I'm going to just show you a real simple way today, again, using a gradient. So let's jump over. Let's see if our image loaded. It is taking its time. There it is. All right. So we're going to click Command J to duplicate um, our background layer. 
and it just went off the image. So hang on, everybody. Let's see. There's our image. It is taking its time. Okay, so Command J to duplicate our layer. I always like to do that so that I have a copy of the original. So what I want to do is select a color. I'm going to go to the color picker and I want to start with a color kind of in this green range, but I'm going to double click on the colors and I want to make sure, really want it a little bit warmer. So I'm going to go to the oranges and maybe scroll up towards the yellows. I want really that kind of gold color. So I'm going to click OK. And now what I'm going to do is a um, gradient adjustment layer. And I'm going to move that and kind of angle it just like we did in the other program. All right, so we can see that color. It's a little bit bright. We can see the angle of that light. Click OK. Now I'm going to reduce the opacity. So just bring that down till we have that nice, gorgeous light shining down. Now we could add a second one if we want. What I'm going to do is adjust this color a little bit. I'm going to go just a little bit softer. Click OK. And I'm going to do another adjustment gradient. And this time I'm going to keep it probably a little bit straighter, click OK, and reduce the opacity again. Now we could take the mask and mask off the butterfly, but I think it did a really nice job getting that really nice and soft. And at this point, you could, um, you could add an additional sun flare. You could add a vignette to really bring the emphasis to the center of the butterfly. And at this point, I would give a little pop of exposure to the butterfly and probably add some more detail. But today we're just focusing on adding some light to your image. All right, so that's just a quick and simple way in Photoshop. Again, there are multiple ways to do this within the program Photoshop. Let's go back to Lightroom. And one more option would be to use the program Luminar Neo. So let's go edit in and we're going to go to Luminar Neo. So no matter what editing program you use, there are so many ways that you can enhance your image in just a slight adjustment to bring some creativity and some beauty to it. This image was shot in gorgeous light, and so I want to bring that out through my editing. All right, so Luminar Neo is a really fun program. It is a standalone editing program, or again, it works as a plugin with Lightroom or Photoshop. Luminar is an AI based program and it's a really powerful program for bringing out details, but it also has a gorgeous creative um, element to it with lots of options. So the one that I really like is called Relight, and this is where you can add brightness near or far. So I'm going to add some brightness far. You can see it's brightening the back, but what I want to do is click this advanced settings. I'm going to add the warmth. So that's just bringing those warm tones and warmth near. I'm actually going to make it a little bit bluer toned and brightness near. I'm going to actually darken just a little bit. Now depth, I want to keep it all the way over. I want this to be a really shallow effect. I'm going to bring it back just a little bit. So that's the relight tool. And we can see if I click the before and after, you can see before and after just adding that golden tone. What I like about Relight is it's impacting our subject as well. So it looks really natural and you do have the ability to mask. And again, we can do as much or as little of this as we want. So Relight is a great tool to play with. Now there's also a sun rays option. And so this is where we could place the sun. Let's say we wanted to um, place it up. Let's move it over here in our image. And now we can do an amount. So you can start seeing some rays. You can do sun rays length. We can make it really shallow, the penetration. So we can just make it really soft. And then you've got all these settings. So we can randomize. We can reduce the number of rays. You can also do the sun setting. So sun radius, the glow, the glow amount. I mean, just tons and tons of options. OK, 
can also move this a little further up. If you want to move it kind of off and just have those rays coming down, that is um, one way to adjust as well. Now we can make these sun rays a lot longer and just add a little bit of fun effect there. So sun rays is an option you could consider also. All right, you also have the option for glow. And so glow is a fun tool that you can use. Let me go turn off the relight so that we can um, compare. So that one's off and let's go down to glow. So under glow, there's one that I really like, the Orton Soft Effect. Now, this is going to give us a little bit of brightness, but again, click Advanced Settings. Let's take the softness up. Let's reduce the brightness and let's add some warmth. Really raise that softness and we can do as much or as little of this as you like. So again, if we look at before and after, you can just see the warmth that we've added to this image. And we also have the mask feature. So we can mask it off or on wherever we want it and really customize our image. Now with this image, I would definitely go up and under develop, I would probably work on adding a tone curve so for some more contrast and really dimension. I would probably pop the exposure just a little bit and maybe play with some other creative tools and features. But lots of different ways that we can add some light and impact our image here using Luminar. So with four different programs, four different ways to impact and add light to your image. And I think my favorite was the topaz option with just adding that beautiful light texture over top. But you've got multiple options depending on what editing program you use. So I hope this summer when you're shooting some things out in nature, you'll consider enhancing the light in your image and using that as a tool. Thanks, everybody.